Hi, OneHourSmartHome.com here, and today we're going to show you how to install a dimmer light switch. So what we've got here is just a standard on-off light switch, and what we're going to do is install this dimmer switch. Uh, this is just a regular dimmer. This is called a Lutron Maestro dimmer. If you're interested in this, we'll put a link below. Um, but what this does is you turn it on and off by tapping, and then you can adjust the brightness here on the side as well as there's an LED indicator showing you how to adjust it. So we're gonna install this. So the first thing that I recommend you do is turn the light on in whatever room you're uh, going to install this in, and then go down to your circuit breaker and turn off the power. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go down to the circuit breaker and turn off the power. And when you turn off the power, what you're gonna see is that the light goes off. And that is how you confirm the power is off to your light switch. Now, another way to confirm the power is off is to use a non-contact voltage meter, which is something like this. And uh, we'll put a link to one of these, but basically what you do is you put this near your light switch and it will alert you or detect if there is still power there. And then you can do it again once you take the cover plate off. So these are a good tool if you want to maintain safety and you don't feel comfortable trusting that circuit breaker. So uh, just another way to do it. The next thing we're gonna to do to install this dimmer light switch is remove these screws to the cover plate and we wanna keep those handy, don't lose these. Uh, they have a tendency to walk away whenever you're doing electrical work. I don't know, they're very small and uh, I find that I lose these if I don't pay attention to them. So now you've got the cover plate off and next thing we're gonna do is remove the light switch. So we just go ahead, take our handy screwdriver, and as you can see, it doesn't require power tools or anything like that to uh, install a light switch. Very few tools are required, and you can get this done with a couple of hand tools. So it's a good way to save some money if you are willing to undertake the challenge and understand a few basic things about electrical and electrical safety, which the number one thing is, you don't want to work on anything while it's live because you want to avoid getting shocked. That is the number one thing. Make sure the power is off and double check the power. And that's why it is handy to have something like one of these non-contact voltage meters. And before you would go any further, you could check to make sure the power was off with this non-contact voltage meter like so. So just something to do there. Always check the power to make sure. Um, if you have a multimeter, you could also use that, but you need to know how to use a multimeter um, in order to be safe with one of those. So uh, remove this bottom screw and then we will be able to pull the light switch out of here. You know, it's kind of hard when you're recording these videos. Uh, my hands always get in focus because that is what the uh, camera spots. So here, we'll focus it again. And now you uh, pull the light switch out of the uh, junction box. Junction box is this thing. You might have a plastic one or you might have a metal one depending on where you're at. And uh, the junction box then uh, is gonna allow you to see what wiring is there. Before you go any further, I recommend you take a picture of what you have going on because it's much easier to wire things up just like they are than it is to go back and try and figure out what these wires are. So go ahead and take a picture or if you've got the same color wire here like we've got black and black, just make sure you take a picture and maybe mark one of these with electrical tape. If you've got white electrical tape or uh, something to mark it with, uh, it can help. So that's a good idea to do that. Then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna remove the existing wires here. So we just take a screwdriver and we remove the existing wires like so. And we're gonna be able to pull these off from this uh, existing light switch. And then we've got the ground wire here. So um, depending on where you're at, you may or may not have a ground wire. Um, if you do have a ground wire, you definitely wanna utilize that. So here is our new light switch, okay? And you can see the terminals for this are on this side here. Uh, this is the hot wire, so the incoming power, and this is the load wire, the wire that goes up to the light bulb. And as you can see down here in this junction box, uh, it's easy to kind of determine what's going on, and we made it that way on purpose, is you've got your incoming power here, which is the hot, and you've got this one going up to the light switch, which is your, or the uh, light fixture, which is your load. Now, on this, you have an extra uh, screw here, this blue one. What is that for? That is for three-way switching applications. We're not going to cover that in this video, but uh, we've got other three-way switching videos, so go ahead and check those out. Um, 
you will not be doing this in a three-way configuration in this video, so we will not need that. All right, so now what we're gonna do is just loosen up these terminals here so that we can wrap the, uh, screw, the uh, wires around the screws and go ahead and do that. So if you've got some pliers handy, um, what you're gonna do is just make a hook or a loop with uh, the wire here. So sometimes, oh, that wire has been used a little bit too much, so just be careful there. Um, you're gonna make a hook for the, uh, the screw to go around, okay? And for this one, we are gonna have to strip it a little bit more because I have used this demonstration for a lot of different light switches and the wire apparently got loose there. So uh, once you've got it stripped, and we could go maybe a little bit more with that, um, you can use, there's a stripping gauge on the back of these. I usually just eyeball it, but on the back here, you can see that is a stripping gauge right there, and it shows you how much to strip. So maybe we stripped just a teeny little bit too much. So I'm just gonna chop that off, and now it's pretty much perfect, okay? So then uh, we're gonna make a hook with this one here too as well so it can go around the screw and maybe we need to make that a little bit bigger there and get that so it can latch on there. All right, and uh, what we're gonna do next is uh, secure the wires onto the screws that are on here and tighten them down. So uh, go ahead and tighten this one down up top here. All right, that is nice and tight. That is the, uh, make sure you've got it in the correct orientation, right? So the light switch is not upside down or anything like that. We got a little grease or something on there. And for this one down here, I think I really made this wire loop a little bit too tight. So let's, let's open it up just a tad. Okay, and uh, now we're gonna hook it onto that bottom screw right there. And we're going to go ahead and tighten up this screw here. All right, so get that one nice and tight, and now these are screwed on. Now, this is something I like to do as a personal preference and think it's a good idea. So I always put electrical tape over the light switch and the terminals on the light switch, and I do that because uh, if you are ever working on these when they're live or diagnosing a problem, you may uh, have to work on it live and you don't want to get shocked, as well as... It just is a preventative measure if for whatever reason these light switches get moved around or someone's working on them or another light switch gets installed next to them that they don't short out. So I just wrap it with electrical tape uh, one or two times to make sure the terminals are covered and protect anything. It's uh, an insurance policy for the most case and uh, just not a bad idea. So in doing this, uh, I have pretty much always done that and just a good idea. Now last wire we got here is the ground wire. So we're just gonna go ahead and wire that up to our ground wire that we have in the uh, existing junction box. So this one needs a little bit of stripping. The ground wire, um, some of you will have a ground wire that's shielded, some of you will have an unshielded ground wire. Um, it really just depends, or some of you won't have a ground wire at all. If you don't have a ground wire at all, um, you can still install these, but you will not have ground protection on them. And uh, if you have a junction box that is metal in a state where you've got conduit and metal junction boxes, it will still be grounded because it's grounded through the conduit. But if you have plastic boxes and no ground wire, it is not grounded then. Um, the conduit system and metal junction boxes are designed to be a grounding system in itself because everything is metal. So we go ahead, we attach our ground wire, and now this is ready to go back into the junction box there. So we can take our two screws and screw these back in, and we're getting our light switch dimmer or our dimmer light switch installed here. Go ahead and tighten up the top screw there. And the only challenge I'm gonna have here is that I think we actually lost a screw in the junction box because that happened while we were taking this apart. So let's go ahead and do that. There it is. All right, so uh, don't do that. You shouldn't have any problems with that because uh, your junction boxes will be vertical and not horizontal like mine. But uh, sometimes that happens. You lose a part in piece when you are trying to work 
on this from up above. Okay, so uh, we go ahead and we screw this in. And now we are going to screw in the bottom one. I wonder what, uh, sometimes when you're trying to do this, you're trying to talk and videotape at the same time and work, and uh, it's, it's a little bit challenging. So sometimes uh, you can lose things down in there or uh, just lose things when you're putting it back together. All right, now we're going to take uh, the bottom screw and screw that in, and we are almost complete here. And make sure that all the wiring is tucked in there nicely and make sure that you are aligning the hole down at the bottom with what you've got installed. So now we just have to screw in that bottom screw and we are almost done installing this dimmer light switch. All we're gonna have to do is put back on the cover plate and then turn the power back on. So here we go. And uh, you would just insert the cover plate screws but uh, we're gonna go ahead and turn the power back on for this. So go down to your circuit breaker uh, once you've got that cover plate installed and then you can turn on the power. Okay, so our dimmer light switch is now installed and uh, you can see here that you can turn it on and off with a press and then you can adjust the dimming levels over here on the side and this is what's called a Lutron Mastro uh, light switch. So that is how you wire a new dimmer light switch or how you install a dimmer light switch.